Hey beautiful people, Leticia here. I hope your weekend is going well. Blessings to you. Much love from Playa del Carmen, Mexico. We just had a bit of rain here and uh, we're awaiting another mini hurricane. Ha ha ha. Let's hope it's not uh, too intense this time. Anyway, once again, I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Uh, I want to send my blessings and cheers to all the freedom fighters in Toronto and Vancouver. Um, I believe Vancouver had another freedom rally today and also to everyone in cities across Canada and the world hosting freedom rallies. Uh, I'm so proud of you and I want to send you my blessings and my support, okay? And uh, I also want to say I am deeply honored to have participating in the amazing event that was the Turning Point 2020 conference. This was a nine day global conference. I know some of you don't like the word global. Uh, I have no comment regarding that as of now. <laughs> Um, in any case, it was it was a, a worldwide event. Uh, we had anywhere from 100,000 to 200,000 views concomitantly. Um, up to 2 million people across the world from 22 countries have viewed this event. As you know, um, a number of our amazing freedom leaders from Toronto, uh, Chris Kai, Vladislav Sobolev, Lamont Daigle, Kellyanne Wolf, uh, they and myself, we were supposed to speak on the freedom panel um, that took place on Friday evening. In the end, it was Chris Kai, Vladislav, and um, and Lamont that were chosen to represent. You know, they they officially represent the major organizations in Canada: the Line International, Hugs Over Mask, Mad Mothers Against Distancing. Kellyanne had her own speaking slot on another evening, and today at 2 p.m., I had the honor of of speaking for a very fast 13 to 15 minutes. I am, um, you know, so honored that I got to speak and share my message with a global audience. And uh, my message was one that you, uh, my lovely Facebook friends and, and people who are in my network, you've heard me say this before. You do make a difference. Your words matter. Uh, you can make a difference, a, a bigger difference than you can imagine. Um, and I gave the example of my little 30 second video of that incident, the, my faithful incident at St. Joseph's Hospital that ended up being seen by 6.1 million people across the world uh, via Twitter and beyond. Like 6.1 was just on Twitter. And as a result of that, Dr. Sherry Tenpenny started working with Hugs Over Masks and, and uh, Mothers Against Distancing. As a result of that, we ended up having a lot more attention from the mainstream media. Uh, I had a chance to share my message of freedom and human rights on the local radio st stations in Toronto. Think of all the thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people that got to hear our message just because of one action that I took. I never in a million years thought that my little action could make that sort of a difference. And I just want you to know that you too can make that sort of difference. You have no idea the power that your words have, the, powers, the power that your actions have. And thank goodness we, are, we have access to the internet, we have access to social media, we can still spread our message of truth and freedom and human rights and and even though they are obviously trying their best they meaning the powers that should not be <laughs> um, they are trying their best to censor our message of truth and freedom trust that we will create alternative platforms this this global conference that I was a member of, that I was a part of uh, was hosted on a free speech platform and and it's it's a it's a I believe it's called Python no I don't want to give you the wrong name I'll find out and maybe post it later but it's a technology that allows massive live streams to happen and that technology exists and it's a free speech platform we also have BitChute, we have library we know that YouTube is censoring everything these days uh, same thing as, as as Facebook don't be afraid of being canceled they cannot cancel us all as you all know when my little viral video incident happened earlier this year i had a lot of negativity thrown at me like more than i could have imagined and and you know what it made no difference to me because i knew i was standing for a just cause i knew i was on the right side of history and and i know many of you who have done your research who are standing for freedom and human rights feel the same way so they cannot cancel us all. They may try to temporarily disconnect some of our accounts or even completely delete us off some of the platforms. I mean, look what they did to David Icke. Right now, as many of you I'm sure are aware, there was a, a massive YouTube purge that happened. Uh, you know, Amazing Polly got deleted. Dan Dix from Press for Truth, his channel was deleted a long time ago. 
the alternative platforms are gonna take over and the established social media things like you know channels like um, sites like YouTube I really think they're gonna go the way of MySpace because people want the truth and the truth the, the truth shall set you free the truth will win in the end light and truth and and and, and justice true justice for all will win hopefully sooner than the, rather than later and we all have an opportunity to to share our message and trust that your unique voice will touch the people in your life i don't have access to the network you have access to i don't have your voice you have you 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 have more reach and more power than you imagine that you have and my i would simply encourage you to to use your voice use what you have at your ability you may think well i only have a hundred facebook friends what difference can i make more than you can imagine with with the power of sharing and again platforms like twitter are amazing for that like uh, you know it, it it's the power of the resharing the resharing feature in twitter that allowed my video to get to 6.1 million views in in a matter of 24 hours or so <laughs> i couldn't have done that myself other people have done that it's it's the waves of other people and and other people were doing it thinking that Oh, look at this crazy woman. Well, you know what? Even if they're going to say bad things about you, as they did about me, the right people who are ready to receive the information woke up and, and, and identified with that. And right now, I have the great pleasure in about half an hour, <laughs> I'm going to be meeting with a lovely friend from Toronto who will be visiting here in Playa del Carmen for at least a month, maybe more. And she's somebody who found out about me and about our freedom movement as a result of my little viral video incident because she saw me on on cp24 and she's like oh my god i love that woman i gotta find her and thankfully she was able to find me and since then she's become and i mean she was already active on her own sharing her message and she's just continued to do that and going to the rallies and she's not the only one a number of you have messaged me and I know every one of you, those of you who are going to in-person rallies, just, just think about the impact you can have. Don't be shy about live streaming. The live streams are extremely powerful. They're easy to share. And, uh, and that our message of freedom and truth is getting out. And, and we will win, my friends. We will fucking win, okay? We will fucking win. We will win. Pardon my language, but... I, I am feeling very encouraged and inspired and uh, again having participated in this conference and again by the way I know it was a live event not all of you have gotten the recordings I will um, get my hands on the recordings even if I have to pay for them that's fine I will get the recordings and I will post uh, you know my interview hopefully with the organizers permission I will post my interview and also our fellow freedom fighters interviews for all of you to see and uh, hopefully be inspired by so and uh, and I know if you haven't heard from me in the last few days again it's as you know I've been dealing with a little bit over here uh, moving is is generally a stressful experience even if you're moving to paradise <laughs> so you know and myself you know the fact that I'm uh, as you know full-time with my son I'm gonna I did find a babysitter on a part-time basis now he didn't want to stay with a babysitter uh, well he didn't want to go to her place so we'll have to work on that but uh, at least we started and this coming week hopefully I'll have him uh, I also word of mouth met a lady at the beach who happens to be a teacher and gives in-person classes out of her home so hopefully uh, this coming week it's a bit far from where we are and I don't have a car here, but you know, hopefully I'll find a way to um, get Anthony to these classes. Schools are officially closed here in Mexico as they are in Canada. Well, I don't know what's going on in Canada. I hope some of you can let me know, but there's no way I would send my child into a masked school environment, masked and socially distanced school environment. So there's no way, Jose. <laughs> um, so this lady, she's actually a national school teacher, but she's choosing to give classes, private classes out of her home every, uh, Monday through Friday 5 to 7 p.m. So that would be really amazing. Hopefully we can make that work um, So that Anthony will have some interaction with other kids. He'll be learning Spanish again Hopefully he'll be willing to uh, participate and cooperate. He's very strong-minded uh, 
I was gonna make a joke. I wonder who he takes it from. Haha, <laughs> it's not just from my side. I know that. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, beautiful people, thanks for listening. Thank you for your support. Oh yeah, one last thing I want to say. If you're finding this month has been freaking intense with all kinds of twists and turns, I mean, I don't know how many of you believe in astrology. Uh, there is a lady I follow, astrologyzone.com. She's been, uh, you know, yes, thank you. Thank you, Lynn. Lynn says, be careful who you, who you allow your child to be cared for. Yes, thank you for that. Um, I have gotten pictures of their identification, and I will do the same even for the teacher lady, for the babysitter. I've already done that. I know where they live. I can tell you later. But yes, uh, I, of course, I have to be cautious I, I agree and, and responsible he's uh, downstairs by the way watching his videos he's been watching too many videos which is what I'm trying to avoid and hopefully uh, I'll soon have some solutions for that um, anyway so yeah speaking of what's going on astrologically whether or not you believe it um, I find this lady is very much on the ball astrology zone.com she essentially what's been happening is the month of October there have been some very strong and not exactly pleasant astrological influences there are a bunch of planets at odds with each other lots of just weird planetary conjunctions again I'm not an expert in astrology by any stretch she is and she explains it very well and I found as I was reading I was like oh my god I can identify with everything she is saying oh my god so astrologyzone.com if you've been finding it just freaking intense and 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 of course, it doesn't add the fact that we're dealing with government oppression, especially those of you who are in Toronto, in the major Toronto, Ottawa, the major cities. I, I know very well what's been happening there. Um, I would just say, and, and her advice is also just uh, breathe. Don't don't make any grandiose plans this month. This is not the month to be. Um, starting new projects or putting a lot of pressure on yourself just <sighs> just take it easy take it easy love yourself take it easy um i'm i'm gonna do my best to do the same it's been intense enough as it has been and um be good to yourselves be kind to yourselves and and and, and as usual we're not alone in the universe uh we don't have control of everything you know and there are aspects there are things at play that at least that's just my belief and again you can choose to believe that or not you know <laughs> um if, if you've been finding it particularly intense this month, just know that you're not crazy. It's not just in your head. I personally found it, you know, there have been some really intense moments. Like Anthony was being just a total brat and just making it super difficult for myself, for me. Um, just to give you one example. And then other things, like unexpected things that came up, like compliance stuff. And like, it's just, just very draining and... and, 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 and and one thing that also comes to mind, my favorite spiritual teachers, Abraham Hicks, they say when things are not going your way, rather than trying to fight against the tide, take the fall. Take the fall. So what that means is swimming against the tide. And I, I really sincerely believe that. So, so what they recommend is like when you're finding yourself like just really not in a good vibrational state, things are not going your way, things are just extra difficult and and i personally like having read astrology zone.com i know it's like it's not just in my head like it's just a weird time right now you know um don't try to fight against the current you know just let it go let go um do the best you can but just be willing to not always have your way just just say take the fall it sounds worse than it is what that may mean is simply you know what when you're not feeling well when things are extra difficult you know just go take care of yourself. Go take a nap. Drink a glass of wine or a half a glass, whatever. That's just my suggestion. You don't necessarily have to do that. Um, but don't, don't, don't push against the tide. You know when, when like, and 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 you know, there's also that saying of when it rains, it pours. You know, if it starts pouring, don't um, don't try to stop the pouring rain. Just get wet. It's fine. It, you'll survive. Humans are amazingly resilient, and uh, I sincerely believe that. And I also sincerely believe that we will go through, we will get through this challenging time for humanity right now. Um, those of you who are in the know, as I am, as much as I am, 
I, I don't claim to know everything for sure, but we, many of us have done our research and know that there's a certain dark agenda being rolled out and so on. And uh, light will win. Light will win. These misguided beings that are trying to, who think that they can do whatever the, they want on our beautiful, amazing planet, they are wrong. And they will face consequences for their actions. I know that. And, uh, and all I can say is, those of us who are awake, and there are increasing, increasing numbers of us who are awake, aware, standing in our power, uh, our job is to continue standing in our power, continue shining the light, leading by example, using our voices in any way we can, again, to the extent that we still have social media. And again, even if they kick us off the mainstream social media, alternative platforms are being birthed as we speak. And we will find a way. Humanity is very resilient. Humanity is very wise. Thank you. Blessings. So um, that's our job. Stay, you know, stand strong. Continue to stand strong. Continue to shine your light. And uh, to whatever extent you can, align yourself with fellow awake people to, to gather strength. Know that you're not alone. I'm here in Mexico. I, it does feel a little bit alone, I must say. I was used to having all of you, my amazing freedom-minded friends. I'm happy to have them selfishly happy to have uh, this beautiful goddess visiting very soon and by the way um, just so you're not worried about me I'm lucky that uh, I did connect with the Playa ladies group on on, uh, on whatsapp and there's about 167 of us and um, very cool and it's mostly expats it's mostly uh, although there are some local ladies there as well so I feel you know and I will continue to trust my guidance and uh, trust my power I know it sounds uh, I certainly don't want that to sound facetious or I, we all have this inner power and uh, it's about time we honor it and trust it and uh, and I'm grateful that through everything that's been happening to me and with me this year you know I, I, I am finding I have been finding my voice and my power and I'm very blessed and honored that that's been happening and I'm gonna fucking keep it up. I'm gonna keep it up, and uh, and I encourage all of you to 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 honor your power. You are more powerful than you think. You are a wise, magnificent human being. You have really the light of the divine flowing through you, and uh, all of us have access to divine inspiration. All of us are connected to Source, and you are constantly in the presence of Source. You are constantly in the presence of the divine. And all I would say is affirm your allegiance to light, affirm your allegiance, say, you know, I am a being of light, I am here, standing guard for the light, I am a being of light, I am shining the light, I will protect this planet, I will protect humanity, I will create this better future for the world. Um, we have the power and together we will co-create that beautiful, brighter future for our world. I trust you, I love you. I'm very proud of all our freedom fighters in Toronto, Vancouver. I want to give a big shout out to all the organizers in Toronto. You know who you are on the West Coast, Ryan Kulbaba. Thank you, brother. Thank you for everything you've been doing. Mark Friesen, thank you. Um, the planet is coming alive. Humanity is rising. By the way, my YouTube channel, Humanity Rising, it's probably won't be the channel itself probably won't be there for much longer. Um, I look forward to creating parallel channels on Bitchute Library. I haven't had a chance to do that and I'm not going to put pressure on myself. It's it's in the works. It's going to hum. Thank you for your patience, all of you. And thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thanks for being your magnificent, amazing self. Bye. Blessings. Have a great rest of the evening. Have a great week ahead. Much love to all of you.